Hello, welcome to another video. This is the Toshiba laptop with the slightly broken screen. And I'm just trying to revisit the um, overheating problem with this um, i5-560M processor. Um, the processor is uh, soldered to the motherboard, so it's not a removal. I can't take this out and put this in another um, laptop, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, um, first thing I might try is different thermal paste. I don't think it's going to make that much difference. It's kind of weird under here. There's like a stack of different things. And then under there, there seems to be another circuit board um, under there. Um, that's a kind of like side thing. Um, but yeah, this laptop seems very much like they love their ribbon cables. And um, ribbon cables are generally fairly delicate, flimsy, can get creased. This has got a weird kink here, for example. Has that always been like that? Or has it got worse over time? What happens when that breaks? Um, but yeah, this could be um, a weak fan. This fan could be um, on its way out or not as good as it once was. Um, I think that is probably the case because um, it does make a bit of noise every now and again. So maybe the bearings are sort of wearing out. Um, but yeah, I'll get some different thermal paste. I'll put this on here and see if it makes any difference. Okay, so we have got Noctua uh, thermal paste. Um, I don't really think this is going to make that much difference because it's just uh, it's heating up so quickly that the fan will start spinning, but it's just not really quick enough on moving enough airflow. But also, it could be to do with the amount of pressure on the um, heatsink. So we might see if we can whoops, give it some more um, pressure. Let me just find something to spread that out a little bit. A Lego card should do the trick, shouldn't it? Just needs a thin coating on both. There we go. And then I need to clean this as well. Okay, so um what you'll notice is this is kind of quite a tiny little heat sink. It's much smaller than the one in um, a different laptop I've got. And also the um, air is not directly over this um, bit here. It's sort of, this is attached here, but the fan is here. It's miles away. Um, how is this supposed to cool this? Um, sort of a channel in here, but it's pretty um, much just little bits of foam. It's quite um, poorly designed, basically. Um, and I might try and wedge something here to um, apply a little bit more pressure. But if there's not enough airflow going over here, then it's not really going to work very well. So. I don't know if there were any um, reviews of this laptop at the time when it came out in 2014. Um, or was it 2010? It was 2010. Um, and whether they mention anything about overheating or thermals, but yeah. The fan ideally would be directly over this. This is the sort of the fan would be here blowing over this so that it's cooling this as efficiently as possible. Instead, this is blowing kind of over here and then somehow it's supposed to go that way. It's, um, I, I honestly don't know how they think this is actually going to be an effective cooler. But um, if we did put something on here, then that might block the airflow from here. To there just an 
awful design, really. Um, no wonder this is overheating. Maybe I won't be replacing the screen on this if it is just constantly going to overheat and then slow down. But we'll see what happens. I did try and sort of um, bend the um, little pressure plate things um, to give it a little bit more pressure, but I don't know if that will have actually worked or not. I do like this SSD drive though, that's quite cool. Don't see many of these. And there are a whole bunch of screws uh, with both long and short screws, which is a bit of a pain. Okay, I'm not really expecting much from uh, this, but let's see if we've made any progress with stopping this from overheating. Okay, so we're already at um, 89, 80 degrees and modulation 50, which means um, the CPU is slowing down in order to not overheat, basically. Um, yeah, I think with this laptop, we're basically stuck with it. Um, Overheating look, we're getting 300. This should be 600 because it's running at 50%. Core temperature of this is 100 degrees C. So yeah, this laptop I think needs setting so that the maximum processor speed is limited. Um, it's a real shame that this is just what we've got here because otherwise it could have been quite a nice uh, system with you know i5 processor um, and if it was running better it would have been you know a reasonable Windows 10 machine but anyway I think um, unfortunately for this because of the overheating um, it's probably not worth spending money on on this um, shame but anyway, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Big thanks for anyone who subscribes, likes, comments, all very much welcome. Bye.